Education is generally believed to contribute to the growth of an economy through acquisition of training and skills. For over 160 years, Nigeria had embarked on implementation of education policies affecting primary schools, secondary schools and tertiary institutions. It is important to record that the human capital revolution, which gained reasonable attention, started with the seminal papers of economic scholars in the 50s and 60s. All developing countries were advised to invest in human capital formation, of which Nigeria also participated. The Nigerian government did not only start training people in schools, but formulated education policies in relation to primary, secondary and tertiary institutions toward making education workable in Nigeria. Nigeria had the fastest growing educational sector in the African continent. For instance, in 1960, Nigeria had two universities with student enrollment of about 1,400. 44 years after, Nigeria had 77 universities, an increase of 75 universities, and percentage increase of 3,750%. Today, the number of universities in Nigeria is 93. Primary schools as at 1960 were 15,703 and increased to 50,741 in 2004. The number of secondary schools was 833 in 1960 and increased to 10,913 in 2004. In terms of student intake, the two universities in 1960 had an intake of about 1,400 but by 2004, total intake in the entire 77 universities came to about 1.6 million students. The concept of human capital formation refers to a conscious and continuous process of acquiring and increasing the number of people with requisite knowledge, education, skill and experience that are crucial for the economic and political development of a country. In essence, the contribution of education to economic growth certainly depends on the quality of education. National educational aims and objectives to which the philosophy is linked is the acquisition of appropriate skills, abilities and competences, both mental and physical, as equipment for the individual to live in and contribute to the development of the society. Governments were to take various measures to implement the policy as education was considered a highly rated investment in the national development plans as any fundamental change in intellectual and social outlook of any society. In addition to what the government is doing, the private sector and non-governmental organizations have also stood up to aid the cause of holistic education in Nigeria. Don Quester Consulting, a human resource firm, has rose up to the challenge to make education more purposeful and result-oriented. In their words, the evident gaps in the educational system within the higher institutions of learning in Nigeria and the current labor market challenges with the growing stardom, get rich quick mindset of the youths has led to the employer's inability to find suitable hires. Therefore, there is the need to guide secondary school students before higher education to ensure proper positioning. The mission is to deliver free career readiness skills, career guides, talks, seminars that will begin to cover the skills gap of over 50,000 youths in the senior secondary and post-secondary institutions while delivering globally competitive career skills for the growth and prosperity of the Nigerian youths, therefore fulfilling the vision of providing qualitative and free education in partnership with private sectors, parents, stakeholders, non-governmental organizations and competent teachers in a conducive learning environment. Some benefits to the participating schools and students include higher personal success rates for students from the schools, learning how to develop after-school career plans, knowing how to convert talents and gift into professions, knowing how to handle background challenges and career choice, inspire the teachers from a private sector perspective, get feedback from the students on the personal challenges. The success already recorded from the ongoing series suggests that it is a worthy venture out to make a difference in the lives of young people. Amid the several feedbacks received from the students, Festus R. had this to say. I am never serious with my studies. I am easily distracted with little things around me. I also lack self-confidence and can't face a crowd even in school. After attending a seminar by Don Quester, I am bold now. 
I have decided to be focused and to take my studies serious because I know now that my future is in my hands. Thanks to Don Quester and please come back again. This goes to show that Nigeria needs more role models and passion-driven teachers and motivators who are willing to make the difference and be the change in the lives of the younger generation who are obviously looking for inspiration to make a go in life. A go that is successful, fulfilling and will in turn impact the oncoming generation in positive ways. You too can make the difference in your own way. You can be the change and cause things to happen to propel people in the right direction in life. Make the difference. Be the change. For more information and inquiries, send your comments to make the difference at loveoutplus.org. Stand out from the crowd.